Hey folks, welcome to my next video. Good to have y'all here. Uh, if you haven't just up to this, subscribe to the channel yet, hit that little watermark over on the corner there, uh, and, and the bell notification to let you know when I upload a video. Well, today I'm getting ready to leave Jamestown and heading to my next two roadside giants today and ending up at a camp that I've picked uh, that's uh, between the two of them. So see what happens. Uh, see where, <laughs> what, what, what the weather really threw me a curve uh, at camp after I was there a couple of days. But bear with me. Enjoy the drive. Enjoy the videos and the photos. We'll catch y'all at the end. Like a bird on a tree, I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. Oh, we're gonna get on Interstate 94 here and go west. The world seems small. Gigi, oh. tell you here, man, how far we're gonna go. Together. It's Thank you. on I 94 West for 56 you miles. Thank you, Gigi. We go on to our next one. In the great outdoors. Okay, folks, here she is, Sandy, the Sand Hill Crane. Uh, the magnificent Sandy is the world's largest Sand Hill Crane sculpture that stands 40 feet high in a park of native and non native plants and grasses. Uh, this is located uh, off of exit 200 to the south of the interstate, uh, close to the, the, the truck stop. If you turn and look over to your left, and you'll see her. Well, here's Sandy. Enjoy the rest of the video. Largest sand hill crane. There he is. Put a little boy running around down here. He's checking it out. Yeah. Get we're closer to the signs here in a minute. Alright, hold on just a minute. I'll get closer to the sign. Okay, here's a sign about the world's law, largest sand hill crane. I'm gonna pause it if you wanna read it. Okay, we'll catch you on the other side. Okay, that was Sandy the Crane, the uh, world's lar largest sand hill crane, uh, right off of exit 200 here on Interstate 94. Uh, you come south of the interstate, and uh, you'll see a TA Travel Plaza and a motel. It's kind of 
behind the motel on the left. So uh, I'll put descriptions about all these roadside giants I'm visiting and uh, and more information in the description. So be, be sure to check out the description. You know, uh, I do go through the extra time and effort to uh, try to show as much as I can about them. And there's other information, you know, about the channel on there, too, and what I use uh, to keep warm, you know, the type of equipment I'm using and whatnot. So uh, we're going to go to the next one. So it's a clear blue day. I'm enjoying the day. Today's a, a drive day, and I'll probably get two more of these roadside giants in the day. And then uh, I'll, where I plan on camping at this or overnighting this, uh, this evening, uh, I'll be able to get, like, I think two or three more tomorrow. So uh, y'all bear with me. I appreciate y'all hanging out this far. Let me get things uh, ready and uh, head towards our next one. Catch y'all on the other side. Okay, we're back on Interstate 74, or 94. And we're headed west again to our next uh, roadside giant. So, uh, I really appreciate y'all hanging out this far. We're gonna continue on. Catch y'all over at the exit. Bear with us. there. Our next thing is look over here to the left. That's where we're heading. Big old thing over yonder on the hill. Catch me there. Salem Shoes. Yeah, the first coat. Donations are accepted. Alright, next is New Salem. Get her up there. That's where we're headed to. Alright, next is State Fairground. New Salem Fairground. Up there. Okay, there she is, Salem Sioux, the world's largest Holstein cow. It's built in honor of the dairyman of the area. Uh, she's 38 feet high by 50 feet long and is visible for, for five miles. So here's some pictures of her. Okay, the other side. New Salem, North Dakota. Uh, well, you'll find the world's largest Holstein uh, cow, and uh, I'll get the uh, information and uh, the particulars about her uh, in the description. So be sure to check it out. Uh, so I've already done about 100 miles a day, so I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to go to the next one or if I'm going to go sit somewhere for a day because they're calling for uh, uh, some rain changing over in the snow uh, tonight, and I won't be out in the middle of nowhere. So um, let me check things out, check the weather out, uh, check see how far it is to my next one, and uh, we'll get back with y'all. Thank y'all for hanging in. We'll catch you on the other side. Go check out a camp here 10 miles away from the big cow. I may stay here a couple, three days, four days, see how it looks and how I feel. Stop Dollar General. Uh, Take
Take exit 134, then turn left onto County Road 84. Turn left onto County Road 84. Continue on County Road 84 for one and a half miles. Okay, as I was coming in, I noticed. Continue for one mile. Thank you, Gigi. There's all kinds of camping out uh, off the county road there. This is actually taking me into a county park, I believe. But there's a lake right there. No fireworks. Anyways, got a mile to go down in here. I'm gonna go down this road here three quarters of a mile. It's quiet time from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. That's, that's hard. Hard luck again when we get up here to camp. No ATVs. Here on Sunday, we got a ball board picnic tables. One pool, it looks like. One covered pavilion. Okay, this is what we're going to be. You got dumpsters, dump your trash. That'll work. Okay, yeah, we passed a couple of uh, good spots, but this is where the GPS coordinates takes us to. Right here at Lakeside. I see a vault toilet, picnic tables, geese, people fishing. Yeah, this will work. With geese all over the place. You have to watch out there. Me, but might not get along with them. I don't think I'm gonna stay over here because I don't want to pick it on my dog. I don't want to get in the water. Alright, we'll catch you on the other side. Well, one day's good, next day's snowing. the lake out there this morning. Ah, it is what it is. See what I decide and where I go next.
He ain't going to stay out there too long. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it's a snow day. Mm. It's a nice little camp, a nice camp here. <laughs> 